Hey, Viola Rules Reacts here, and welcome to the next reaction that I'm going to be doing. Um, today I'm going to be reacting to the Bronies React to the Season 7 premiere. I've been anticipating this for a while. I've seen all of their other Bronies Reacts, um, and I'm very excited to see what they think of this one. Just to give you an idea of how this works, if you've never seen Bronies Reacts or this type of um, reaction before, basically a group of people record their reactions to the Season 7 premiere, and then they send their recordings to AC Race Best, who, uh, whose channel this is, and they, and basically AC Race just snips it, all their reactions down into about an hour or so long compilation of all their reactions to different parts of it. Um, just, usually it's just jokes and stuff like that. It's pretty, usually pretty funny, at least I enjoy it. So I'm really excited to get started. So let's get started with Bronies Reacts Season 7 Premiere. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it says, I'm a Toon Link or Viva La Rivera. If I'm pronouncing that right, probably not. So it's referred to him as I'm a Toon Link. <laughs> nice dance intro. Yeah, boy. I'm mean, I'm green, and I'm a dancing machine. But, but none of those are relevant right now because <laughs> I'm recording for Bernie's React. But n no, the mean, the mean one, I, that might be relevant because I'm not usually the nicest to these episodes, so. Hey everyone, oh, really? don't have anything hey, funny time for those intros, so let's just jump right in. <laughs> oh, oh, hello, oh, that hey. was Brony Dance Party. My name is BDP, welcome to the React Bronies. We, we watch My Little Pony uh, equestrian thingies. But not Thanks today. Thanks for stopping by, <laughs> partner. <laughs> Hell, you what? Stano. Is, is there a new episode out? Now yep. let's get this started. Oh, hey, Spire right, Team Season Harmony. 7 of My Little Pony premiere. I know that everyone's been waiting too. Okay. with bated breath for my opinion. I kind of went from, like, some pompous old British lady to... Droopy dog. <laughs> Here we go There's AC again. Rick himself. Will season seven prove to be a better season than season six, or are we on the same slope we were going last year? Guess who's back? Mm -hmm. Hey, it's Ali Monty. I reacted to one of her we've videos. Been waiting a long time for this. And it's finally here, the second season of Rick and Morty. We didn't think it was going to happen. So my <laughs> New Year's <laughs> resolution was to give Starlight Glimmer I makes really great music, by a chance. Way. Ladies and gentlemen, I've really been looking forward to this. Kind of had mixed feelings about uh, the, the previous seasons, but now that they're finally making a movie, I can't wait to see the Power Rangers. And nobody's like, <laughs> They are actually making a My Little no Pony pudding. movie, but... but... It's only because Kelly Sheridan's cool. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gabriel Brown, otherwise known as Black Griffin, spelled with a zero. I have terrible <laughs> hair, and this is Bronies React to Season 7. Don't worry, my hair's always a mess in my gaming my videos, too. Equestria girls. Dang it. I am completely. Ah, oh, he said the wrong thing. <laughs> hey, it's Dusty Cat. What? Ah, oh, that's the wrong no, costume. No, 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 no. That was the last Bronies react. Again. It's still the last. Why do I suddenly feel like I want to play guitar? Dang it! <laughs> okay. Ah, I guess better, that works. Much better. <sighs> okay, Rainbow, you ready? Who's the hoodie supposed to be of? I don't know which pony that hoodie that Dusty Cat's wearing is supposed to be a reference to. This is just Rainbow Dash shrouded in darkness. I have no idea. Who's there? Hey Spike, <laughs> what's up? The ceiling. Hi Starling, I just wanna pop, pop, pop! They say first what? impressions are everything, and from what I'm seeing, the first thing I see in this episode is Welcome to the Main Six Isn't Here! This is the Starlight Glimmer Show! Now, have fun! Oh, I still I guess some people still don't like, uh, uh Starlight honor. Glimmer. I expected her to say married, for some reason. <laughs> We've all been right? waiting for it! I mean, have you seen the shipping art? Medals of Honor? Uh, Wait, true. what? true, people do As ship a military people member, I am okay. triggered by this. No! 
Huh? You cannot receive a Medal of Honor, damn it. Fun fact, the really? highest award that a civilian in the United States can receive is the Presidential Medal of Freedom. What does that entail? And that is the Windows what startup the sound? Was that? Wasn't that the, the more you know theme? No. no. <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on. Let me try it again. Uh, nope, still wrong. Still wrong. <laughs> Are you kidding? You totally deserve it. I actually didn't know that so Twilight civilians couldn't sure. get Medal of Honor. You can't do anything right. <laughs> you total. Oh my gosh, darling. Are you serious? I mean, girlfriend, come on, please. After all, you saved Equestria from Queen <laughs> Chrysalis with the help of Trixie and yeah. Thorax and Larry and Mark and Harpo and, and Curly and Curly Jefferson. It's okay, Spike. <laughs> I also forgot what happened in the I finale. I expected them to make oh, a full three podcast style. style. Hey, reference. we're recording. Didn't like really think... well, so. so it's basically every Brony's react for me. I point the camera, I hit record, and I send Race two hours of footage, two minutes of which is actually usable, one minute of which he actually uses, 20 seconds of which is decent, five seconds Pretty of which is Pretty much the basis of this whole thing. According to me. Uh, yeah, I know what happened. Two I'm hours. There. Quiet, Starlight. He's not talking to you. He's refreshing our memory for the new season. Yeah, that's what it's I said. almost like reaction. you said that exclusively to inform the people who didn't see the last episode. That's cheeky. Is, like, <laughs> Twilight going through her porn stash in the back? What's going I on? So fan fiction comes out on fan fiction next week. You don't have to be looking for it in there. Wow. So, what are you wearing? <laughs> Nothing, my dude. It's like Spike's calling the sex hotline. <laughs> <laughs> what are you wearing? Uh, nothing, because they're always wearing nothing. Oh, that is on. true. Oh, they make a big a deal out of wearing nice clothes in the show, but face face it's not Especially a common or quiet thing. Isn't it funny how, like, when the horses wear oh, hey, it's clothes, Jackson. it actually makes them look more naked? If you think about it, because, like, okay, like, if you just see a regular horse, it's like, okay, yeah, there's Twilight back there. Oh, whatever. But if she's just wearing, you add Twilight in socks, and it's just like, oh my god. Hey, <laughs> what are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> Please say nothing. Not sure. Oh! It's like Rarity always it actually would have been a good line, though. There's no such thing as overdressed, darling. Apparently, there's also no such thing as underdressed because they're always nude. There is such a thing as over-imitation because yeah, I true. think this, we've had that <laughs> same joke cool. several different times now. If now we have Spike. Twilight did it. Twilight never. Rainbow Im Dash did it. Imitated Rarity. And I wouldn't be surprised. And if I don't know Pinkie what all that Pie text did it at some point. You're just the best looking pony. I only saw the first part. <laughs> Maybe she might not have. So I guess he was correcting Spike, his statement about uh, Twilight doing an Fantastic. impression of Rarity. That I'm pretty sure really she's never in the booth. done that. I think the, the only impression we've Spike. ever seen her do is the Pinkie yeah. Pie one during um. You know, Spike. If, uh, if your Spike things go limp like that, I think there's a pill for that. Also, that's normally not what our Rarity says. It usually has to do with alcohol. Yeah, that's true. What are you looking at? No, don't look! Your ass! No, 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 don't, 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 don't look, don't. <laughs> uh, see, he's got a crush on her, just like... No. Every, just like... Every, uh... No, Spike what still has his crush at? on me. Right Get over right. here! Bye! Because there was a spider there, but it's a god now. You are a wuss! But to be fair, I'm saying that as an Australian where spiders are kind of, they, they, they're just roommates. She had no I hate idea. spiders. I'm sure Spike, yes, she had no idea that she you really were acting didn't. weird. Because well, you always act weird. We're a good team, Sparkle. Sparkle. I still find it very weird, How Spike dare calling you call me by my last Sparkle. name. Sparkle? Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? I am your superior officer. <laughs> okay, for some reason, I'm just hearing Ashi saying that when Samurai Jack got his sword back. The Sparkle, I I, I don't know. That's I guess that's referring to the new Samurai uh, Jack love reboot. You, Tara. I'm trying to think of like the other ponies. Maybe What's I should up, do blind reactions to that. What's up, Pi? What's up, Itty? <laughs> Sparkle? <laughs> it's Princess Twilight Spike. Come on, you should know this by now. Now off to the dungeon with you. <laughs> you know the rules. <laughs> They're good friends. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I want this present to say, I'm so proud of you, both as a mentor and a friend. And a potential love interest that we can't make canon because of the rating of this show. Equestria is safer thanks to you. Equestria is safer thanks to you? 
That's a bit of an understatement, considering there wouldn't be an Equestria had she not helped save it. Uh, maybe you should get her a card, because I don't think the mirror will say all that. Yeah, Spike, I like getting cards, too. Where's on the front of that card? Oh, I love you. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> well, it definitely doesn't say, uh, no, here's a mirror. Um, yeah, uh, I don't think you're a narcissist at all. No, no, um, not like Trixie. The first thing she'll see when she wakes up is herself surrounded by all her friends. First thing she wakes up and sees is herself surrounded by all her friends. Oh, that's actually quite a sweet present. Yeah, I agree. I don't understand. What's up with all the, like, weeaboo anime eyes? Yeah, I noticed like, that, too. If you look at Twilight down here, it's, it's not the same style as the show. <laughs> you can see yeah, her eyes not. right there for reference. But the weirdest I mean, cool, thing is that yeah. later on when she that gives style, Starlight the like, gift, they are in the style of the show. So I don't know why it's look different at, at the beginning of the episode. With her friends. Uh, the yeah. episode that got me into the show. Apparently oh, Twilight is nice. vain enough to photoshop everybody's blemishes out of their photos, or in this case, their outlines. Discord and Celestia. Oh yeah, their outlines are gone too. I ship it! <laughs> oh, I get it. She's gonna get her a mirror, and then when she's asleep, she's gonna tattoo that sentence on her forehead so that when she wakes up in the morning and looks in the mirror, she sees it. Of course, it's gonna have to be the mirror image of it, but I'm sure she'll appreciate it. I'm sure she'll love it, honestly. I mean, I love it when my friends do that to me. It's frustrating to have to put makeup on my forehead all the time, but it's big <laughs> enough. I mean, it's, you can fit a whole dictionary on this forehead. <laughs> <laughs> my mom calls it a five head. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, I love this scene. Is her party planning billed by the hour or second? Pinkie Pie has gotten, like, so used to throwing parties now Actually, that she I wonder does if it in Pinkie a click of a does finger. get paid I for... Mean, well, throwing parties because it's like, I mean, she does you know it because what? it's her special Using talent. In universe but does she logic, get paid I think for Pinkie it? Pie would legitimately be the best ruler for Equestria exclusively because her fourth wall breaking abilities could just get shit done. That's a good Am point. I wrong for thinking that? I, I wonder don't think if she's so. also like in charge of like the funerals. Uh, no. <laughs> my little pony, my little I don't think pony. Pinky would be into that. Let's just skip the intro because we all know they're not changing anything except like adding Yeah, I skipped the, the intro slash. too. My little pony, my little pony. Until they actually physically change the whole My longest yeah boy ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the likes on this fake uh, screen. <laughs> I wonder if he actually did there. If he had to that loop that. that hard. I've gotten. I've got. I'm get. I don't want to be too good at that because. Cause I don't need those lungs. To give the donate my lungs to somebody else. <laughs> hmm, new logo. I think they used this new on some logo. toys for a while, but it's nice to see in the show. See the logo there? My little purple. Friendship is purple. You'd think I would be sick of this opening by now. And you are. You would be right. Yep. Yeah, yeah I'm sick of seven too. seasons and they finally changed the shit up. Alright! Woohoo! Hmm? Were they listening to? Ugh, oh, there's just some Don't anime want, opening. Uh, Dotsu and Yamaha. <laughs> there's a walrus in my pants. Wow, you sang beautifully. Thank you. Black Griffin could learn something from you. <laughs> yeah, how to build armor. <laughs> R2-D2, Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, and not Chewbacca. Isn't that a reference to wait, uh, wait, wait, Black wait. Griffin's um, Why is Cadence not up there? armor He's in the Halloween edition is very uncomfortable standing for him. Shining armor, doing something. And Discord. Starlight, Trixie, Thorax, and Discord. That the bonds of friendship, no matter how unlikely... Oh, it's the confetti ponies from season 6 finale. <laughs> confetti oh, ponies. Oh, look at all the changelings. <laughs> They're all so colorful. I like the changelings new design, I know one of the personally. lads, though, reacting is going to be like, Eh, I don't like the look of the changelings. Ah, it's the bad unicorn OC wing butt. But I kind of like them. I think they're cool. <laughs> I don't think I can ever get used to the new changeling design. They look even worse alongside ponies. 
Ma might. It's very Ma might. It is even a little bit jarring how actually bright like bright their new designs and colorful they are like, oh, compared to the ponies. Love, like, They're even I more kinda bright I kind of like being this colorful. spiky, black-haired pony thing with sharp teeth and claws and shit like that. Now I look like I freaking digivolved into that thing from Princess Mononoke with the, you know what I'm talking about, the deer thing? I actually words. don't. You know I've never I'm seen talking? that like, I don't know. Like, if I was one of these changelings and then they were like, Starlight's boyfriend's in the audience. Ooh. Oh. Oh, Yo, sunburst. This is oh. what we dealing with now, cause you know right. we got love in our hearts. We don't gotta eat it from other people. It's just I, I, I ain't. Yeah, I personally, I don't like shipping like characters it. together. I don't want to sound sexist show. or anything, but I am kind of excited to see some females wrote this episode. I feel like some of the best writing has come from the female writers for the show, like Amy Keenan Rogers or M.A. Larson. <laughs> they didn't wow. stop Queen Chrysalis. They just delayed Queen. Hmm. Chris, Chris Grass. Yeah. We use toothpaste to glue our bums together. Who I expect Don't to see discord. in the season Yahoo! seven finale. <laughs> Mom, At least I quiet. Don't know what else the really season costume. seven finale. Everybody would be can tell it's you, Celestia. <laughs> and honored to give them the equestrian pink hearts of courage. Is that like a purple heart? Proud and honored to give them Hasbro merchandise. <laughs> so you make the logo purple and the title screen purple and even the pillow purple, but the purple heart you turn into the pink heart and give it to a male Draconicus. Yes. I don't see a problem with that. That's a stupid name. They could have called them the, the Equestrian Fuchsia Hearts of Kicking Flank. I suppose so. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Shoot. Now I see why Animated James stopped doing those. Yeah. Um, Sarah? <laughs> you actually cracked Nothing. the table. <laughs> what, did you what, did you, what? what did you just do to the table? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I doubt Animated James hits the table that hard when he head does. <laughs> Ew. Something about Discord's head popping off and then he puts the metal on. To me, it wasn't disturbing because it's Discord. Some, some phobia got triggered there, man. Look. That's really unsettling. I bet you thought I was going to make a head joke here. No. <laughs> no? Okay. Oh Everybody my can make goodness. Sexual I need Discord. So, oh, so I guess if Discord goes evil again, decapitating him just won't work. Uh, close. And this is the point I made I during my video. This is gonna turn into a sex joke. How? Okay, I'm getting well, back. I didn't think just really make it so that the necklace is unclasped in the back. I'm pretty sure one of the rest of the cast got this. All right. So one of y'all, please say it. If none of y'all do, I'll be severely disappointed. Again, with the horns and the sweat and the tight fit. Uh, RD, you take over. Oh, Luna can't seem to get it to fit, huh? Nickel for every time. Rainbow Dash. What? She can't be making those kind of. Well, okay, you could totally make those jokes. Why? I mean, that's kind of dirty. I mean, won't fit in the hole. What? That was a sex joke, right? No, I was talking about when you get the blocks and you got the circle block and you're trying to get it in. But that's the a circle hole, sex but it joke. Doesn't oh. fit. And you're like, fuck! It turns out it's a square. You gotta put the square in the square but hole. Isn't that <laughs> a sex Luna's joke? Luna's really though? trying to force it in him. Through him. On him. Excuse me. Just, Luna uh, trying to put on that necklace reminds me of those two horseshoe puzzle things. Or you just, there's always uh, I remember those things. Those things are nice. Oh, uh, no, not quite. Uh, all right, there it is. Yay! What are they watching? So <laughs> if, you, if you zoom the camera in just right on Luna's face, with the same like dialogue that's going on, it looks completely dirty and it's actually wonderful. There's a lot of sexual Next episode jokes in on this Pinkie one. Pie narrates something that's happening off screen. A birth. Now try and take that metal off. Haha, <laughs> you gotta saw off your horns to get it off now. You, can just you know, cut Luna, the back of you the could have saved him necklace. all the embarrassment and just like poofed it on him. Okay, how did uh, that work? That's a good point. Is it a rubber band? We are so proud and of And that's right, Dorix has magic now too, so you can just poof it off. Well, the so. audience now, are they proud of the audience? We're just proud of everyone. Good job, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> There's DJ Pwn3 or Vinyl Scratch. Oh man, I just, I just love beats, dude. God. Dubstep is my only personality trait. Still not yeah. voiced. Vinyl's Hasbro. just a background. I mean, just get character. on the horn with no whacking. It's not that hard. Vinyl, because fans are just no in the show and now. No and also, is that any price? 
Oh my god, it is Andy Price. That's one of the uh, comic writers. That's pretty neat. Sweetie right. Belle's Dancing with Spike. Wasn't that a ship back in, like, season one? Why in the heck is Scootaloo standing on the <laughs> I didn't notice that. Wow. Because <laughs> everybody knows that chicken... Oh, is a chicken joke again. Get off the table, <laughs> young Philly. Goodness I never noticed that when I, I was watching nothing. it. <laughs> the great and powerful Trixie's pleasure to save you from your imminent doom. Well, you know, Trixie, it uh, kept me from having to watch another one of your shows. I would Ooh. rather not be saved by Trixie just so she doesn't brag to my face about it. You know, after all this time, I realize I still hate Trixie. Not, I used no, to hate Trixie, but character. I don't hate It'll Trixie anymore. <laughs> Hold up there, Starlight. Just a minute. I don't think Celestia would be too happy with you muscling in on her Draconicus. <laughs> it was amazing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I like the voice of that changeling. It was amazing. Oh, nice Ooh, impression. Yeah, talk. But apparently our voices don't change, even though our entire physique has totally turned into a vanilla peach ice cream cone unicorn. We are what? changelings, and we have to talk different <laughs> so we're not like the ponies. So, like, all of us are just gonna sound like this, aren't we? That's pretty weird. Hold on, time out. I don't think I've once seen a single toy about the new changeling design. Really? I, I thought that was done what? for toys. No one's ever stood up to chrysalis like that. Uh, That's strange. Oh, Can they only make me, toys right? of good guys? Well, technically they are good guys, but they used to be bad guys, so that why they can't make this toys. This pony's horn has a horn. That's a double unicorn. But they're Discord. Fucking the nice, so I'm confused now. Done. <laughs> I put the elements of harmony in my butt. It's a wonderful <laughs> feeling, isn't it? Watching your student shine the way you always knew they could. Isn't it a wonderful feeling? Shame I haven't yeah, felt Ellie that. Yeah, Ellie Watch is really good at voice impressions. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. My cheeks are sore. I don't think I've ever smiled this much in my life. I can only imagine what that feels like. <laughs> really? Wink at her. Ha! Celestia winked because she also knows what it's like to have her cheeks sore. Her butt cheeks. Remember where oh you came God. from, you lowly scum. That reminds me of the Who's line I did just the other day because I had to hold an expression where I was smiling the whole time and it actually hurt. So I kind of have to laugh at this part, <laughs> because Twilight here is voiced by Tara Strong, yeah, and Tara Strong is currently voicing Oshi in the new season of Samurai Jack, so if you switch the voices around, it's pretty funny. <laughs> My cheeks are sore. Hold it! Now, I'm huh? going to give you Phoenix a quick right anatomy right. lesson. So here's the thing. When we say our cheeks heart hurt from smiling so much, that's because they get pushed back. These are where your cheeks are, your mouth pushes them back. And when you see one of the horses do it, it's different. Because their mouth, their, like their mouth goes up into like up here. This is not where their cheeks are. Their cheeks are over here under their eyes. So therefore, uh, that term works well with humans, does not point, work well with, with, with ponies. Busted! Yes. Oh, that's very tentacly. Her destiny falls <laughs> squarely on your haunches. That's a disease, right? Haunches? Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, what you get when you eat too many uh, Cool Ranch Doritos. <laughs> I've planned enough friendship lessons to cover the next three years. I have enough friendship lessons to keep this series going until 2020. Twilight is like well prepared Tame ways but as far as I know the show's only been approved for season 7 and 8 so far and then you became everyone's least favorite character when you fell in love with two different guys of course you're a girl and a girl she and a girl what for Equestria's sake wait when, when did wait. they stop using Celestia's name in vain honestly being in the military it doesn't take a lot to win a medal I got a medal for sitting on a boat for a year. So, how's the whole ruling a kingdom thing going? I beheaded three traitors already. <laughs> Good. <laughs> terrible. Absolutely terrible. Okay? Millions have died of starvation. There are but constant they can't uprisings starve. with rebellions all over the place. That's the whole point of reforming the changelings so that they this. can't starve. I didn't ask to be in charge, and I realized that a monarchy is the worst form of government right now, but yet you guys kind of imposed this on me, so I guess it's it is good true. It was kind of forced. The wings are kind of like a ladybug. Overwhelming. 
but we're adjusting. Hold it! So, remember, okay, remember last episode, right? Where, where Thorax turned into a magical fucked up rainbow demon? <laughs> cool, okay, so, yeah, if you remember, remember that episode, you remember that he stopped talking and turned all of his interactions into True. like nods he and shakes or whatever because they didn't want him yeah, talking anymore. Him. Well, they just they 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 made him speak here and he just has a normal voice. So that's stupid. True, he does and still why have did the you same make him not talk at the before. end of the at the end of last season's episode if you're just gonna make him talk with his normal voice this time? Busted. <laughs> Friendship without makeovers? Whoa, what, what, what? You can't have friendship without makeouts? No, Obviously makeovers. Not. Did you see what Hagar did to you? I actually kind of dig the voices for the... I don't know what we call them anymore. Changelings. Yeah. Uh, not, not exactly. Oh. I assume that's what they're still called. Rarity's like, ha, 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 yes, I like you, you freaky bug thing. You know, this confuses me because, um... Hmm? Me and Tyler, Snowflake, um... Very, very good friends. But, yeah, they uh, did have the voice actor for a Snowflake or Bulk Biceps on the What you talking about? I give they all had my him friends in the, uh, makeovers. Ronan's Next reacts to Smile HD best. episode. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> but I'm nosy and I want to hear. I, I don't know what that cracks me up. I love how much of an ass Discord's being right now. <laughs> Am I the only one here who wanted Discord to break out into the Humpty Dance? Excuse me. Wow. He's got a human nose. <laughs> who knows where that came from? <laughs> Thorax was wearing the glasses. Oh, so cute. You are the weirdest looking character you ah, your eyes are staring into my soul i mean the chainling's eyes before back, were just solid every pony. i have so, a unicorn i'm not afraid to no use it Twilight was just about to reveal her grand master plan for you it's like discord wants them to kiss look how close they are to each other yes i'd say we were both fairly interested stop being a jerk i do have a plan obviously i'm gonna put liquid paper on a bee and then it will die Good plan, good plan, best plan. From the way that you're sweating, that you too. definitely do have a plan. You too, Discord. What's her problem? Discord's She's clearly a better character than- Oh, that's her problem! <laughs> she knows it. I appreciate that they still don't apparently like each other publicly. But we all know what happens behind the scenes. Trixie and Discord I love definitely the sexual have a jokes love hate in this relationship. One is kind of grinding my nerves. I wonder if Discord is offended by that or if he's just like uh, it's Trixie. I see what you're doing. And you don't have a clue. You'll send her off and teach her things that she'll learn when she's two. She is an adult, Twilight. There's magic in her horn. But if you oh. don't teach Can her you, the uh, right feel things, the love tonight her from good the will uh, turn Lion King. To scorn. Okay. I'm trying to figure I out what he was, uh, was I good? parodying. Is Twilight. Good okay, I think teacher. he should have just stopped. She doesn't have a clue. Announcement to every pony about your plan. Where are the bubbles coming from? I so, wouldn't drink that after Discord has bathed in it. Oh man, Ugh. I poured out too. I can't wait to tell Fluttershy and the other. Discord, no! Discord, yes! <laughs> and there's Barry Punch teaching the CMC the important things about college. How to do jello shots. <laughs> you don't get the joke. Um, Barry Those Punch is look the familiar. resident alcoholic by using assets. Oh, That's literally by the same the, uh, fucking muffin they used Phantom since Stan season anyway. one. Were you reading during a party? Again? That's a regular occurrence for Twilight? That's sad. She mastered this. Ah, that must be the baiting paper. She told what? me about this one. Reverse cowgirl. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, it's what? Nasty. You had it all figured out for me. <gasps> That's it! <laughs> Something about that was so adorable, just the way she went and ran off with it. Oh my god, Twilight finally figured out that she should pass on her problems to Celestia, much like Celestia does to Twilight. Twilight has learned. So you have an overachieving student. Sounds familiar. So you have an overachieving student. Sounds familiar. <laughs> Luna. Sunset. Shimmer! <laughs> oh, you thought it was about you? 
No. And I want to just make it, so this just seems really mean. You. Well, you know, just kind of fade into obscurity and stop doing stuff and let her do everything for you. I mean, you were me and I was Starlight. Okay, hold on. If, you, if you're you and she's her, who am I? If you were Starlight, <laughs> then I'd be Rainbow Dash, and Rainbow Dash would be Fluttershy, and Fluttershy would be mm. um, Applejack, and Applejack would be Rarity, and Rarity would be Mr. Cake, and Mr. Cake would be the Oh my god, get on with it! <laughs> when I was your student, yes, and you were you. in this place, you... Oh no. You sent me to Ponyville, which means it's time for me to send Starlight Glimmer away! Yes! As I have to say, a lot of people are going to rejoice over that. I knew this season was going to be good! Finally. So she's not going to be a main character anymore? All right. I mean, I she wasn't part of the main six to begin are with. with uh, half the fandom rejoices, the other half mourns. I think that's how divided everyone is on Starlight. I don't think they should the have assumed that, that they were going to go Starlight through with that. Really is... Hold it. Okay. So Twilight what now? was sent away so that she could learn friendship, which is an important thing. If you remember the first sure. episode, that's why she was sent away. You know, friendship is magic, and she needs to save the world and such and such. But this isn't the same case as Starlight, though. Starlight needs to be sent away because, isn't it? Oh, so that she can learn friendship. She's already learned friendship because that's what the whole previous season was about. That's so true. Therefore. No, that's she doesn't need to do that. Sorry, just just broke your I broke your plot. Then I'll, I'll watch you anyway, cause your animation is pretty. <laughs> Busted. Only you can make that decision. No, only you can prevent forest fires. Stupid Princess Celestia still doesn't understand. That's why there are so many forest fires in Equestria. But your heart knows what's right. Even as it hurts. Can't you see I don't want you anymore? Get out of here! Where are you gonna send her? To the moon! Season one jokes are the best. <laughs> oh. oh, Spike. Princess Celestia's had enough of your horse apples. Gonna send it to the horse human apples? world. Equestria girls, seven. I'm sending her to <laughs> Tartarus. Oh, wait, sorry. Tartarus. Terra. Tartarus. Oh, boy. Uh, wow. oh, boy. 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 She was. I was expecting there to be a third oh, boy for some reason. <laughs> Whatever Twilight's planning for Starlight is going to be so exciting. What are you doing? Hmm. Wonder why she didn't tell any of us about it. Oh, my gosh! Huh? That's totally the Family Guy theme song. All right. Who did this? It is? Was it William? Was it I've Stephen? never seen Family Guy, so I wouldn't who? know. Who did the background music in this episode? And did you realize that you were copying the theme, the theme song to Family Guy? Did you realize it? That's so exciting! Everyone is getting incredibly close in this episode. Mm. Pinky and Rarity are touching noses. When yeah, has Twilight so? not had a plan? Um, yeah. Multiple, multiple Season locations. <laughs> Whenever she freaks out, it's because she doesn't have a plan, and she freaks out all the time. Starlight's given the changelings an opportunity to revolutionize their society! Oh my god, Twilight said revolutionize the instant her arm went up like this. Wow. Okay. Cool spell. That's new. That's new. That's cool. Yeah, I really oh, like shit. that spell you from, killed uh, all of from us. that episode. We are the ghosts of Christmas past! I like it. It reminds me of Beauty and the Beast, the new one, where suddenly Recluse Beast, who conceals himself within the castle, has a book that can magically transport him anywhere. What? Wait, yeah, I what? Didn't get that part. Thorax and I are going That's to not show from you the how to original. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. <laughs> Seriously, all the sexual jokes sex in this story. are really starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> and I know, yes, yeah, so I'm squeamish around sexual <laughs> jokes in general, it's but this is a bit excessive. You stop it. Feels you like they're making it. sexual jokes you just to make it. sexual jokes at this yeah. point. I want to have honeysuckle nectar for lunch. I would like a sandwich. Oh no, what should we do? Freaking classy acting right there. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. I would like a sandwich. The tap! The winner gets to choose! I like that one. I want that one to be in charge. <laughs> like your spunk, kid. Kill everyone until there's nobody left and eat all their hearts. Fire yeah, by I got stone! Fire by stone! That is 
Prince is a reference to. I do not recognize that. I either. love it! I love that even though they still look like that, they've got that, like, <laughs> pardon the pun, hive mind. <laughs> it's good to know that our reformed homicidal <laughs> hive mind is still at least a little homicidal. Everybody else is like, yeah, 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 great idea. I, I, I mean, I do that. And I mean, that's a perfect solution attack. Duh. Or Thorax and I can talk about it and come up with a solution that works for every pony. Yes, come up with a solution that works for every pony. Freaking racist. Yeah, this has been brought up before by just them. Fight for crying out that loud. How do you even though there's more than ponies in this world, they say any pony. Sandwiches. Why that sounds delicious. That sounds fucking disgusting. Why that sounds disgusting. Compromise. Yeah, I do agree that that did you sound disgusting. That hmm? What? But what if you're allergic oh, to honeysuckle? Huh? Huh? What if honeysuckle gives you the hives and you can't eat it? Huh? It's like going out for pizza and everyone's like, why don't we get half pineapple and half pepperoni and then a little bit of the pineapple gets on the pepperoni and you didn't realize it because you just ate all the pepperoni and now you got an allergic reaction you're freaking spaz now, huh? How do you feel about that? Compromise my ass. Yeah, okay, see what happens when you try diplomacy? You turn into a weird freaking bug thing. This <laughs> is your body. This is your body on diplomacy. <laughs> Any questions? Compromise. Shut up! <laughs> Seriously, stop doing that. Uh, this is Twilight's fantasy spike. There is no wrong way to fantasize. Uh! What? This is Twilight's fantasy? Yes! Where am I? <laughs> I don't see myself. This is Twilight's episode spike, so shut the hell up. <laughs> I'm suddenly depressed. There is no wrong way to fetishize. I mean, fantasize. Uh. Uh, Spike, this is like Twilight's fantasy. If you don't like it, get out. <laughs> Rude. Yeah, no wrong way to fantasize. Of course, everybody's gonna take it the wrong way. Because why wouldn't they at this point? Don't ever touch me again. <laughs> Stop. 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 God damn it. Just a fucking thing. Twilight <laughs> Glimmer is a most apt and perspicacious pony. I think it means she's very sweaty. She needs to put on more deodorant. <laughs> She's perspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a Twilight fantasy. It would only take yeah, one Twilight changeling song. to deviate from the pack. Way to be racist, Twilight, just assuming one's going to be bad. Oh, oh, oh no! Here we go! Oh, oh, oh. Can't just have an easy answer! We gotta talk some more. See through. I think it's pretty cool. I, I, I wish I had see through wings. Invisible ones like these stupid things. <laughs> I always get in the way and no one believes I have them. I'm so glad I'm a pony. <laughs> Are you like bugs or what? She just said what all of us have been wondering. I don't blame her. Never mind. I take it back, Twilight. Uh, Starlight's racist. Wait a minute. But that's a changeling. But this is Twilight's fantasy. So she's still racist. Never mind. I don't take it back. Twilight, you're racist. <laughs> Does this make her racist stuff? Damn! Oh yeah, that shocked me when I first oh saw it. Oh my god! They're actually dead. <laughs> they are really dead. Oh. <laughs> god damn it. There she is! Get her! And then she got died. I can't just send her off to Celestia right. knows where without thinking it through. Hmm. I was not aware that I was an expression. She's becoming self-aware! Good job, Twilight. You fucked up a thousand years of inside jokes. <laughs> sure you didn't, Celestia. Sure you didn't. I guess yeah, that Celestia does make me wonder where the Celestia catchphrase originated from. She didn't all. start it. I, see, okay, that's something I actually like. That they, I like when deities or other things just realize, oh yeah, I've been around, I'm like this omnipowered thing, but oh, I didn't realize I'm an expression. Oh, mother of me, am I right? Or something like that. <laughs> Hold it! No. Celestia what? knows where. Okay, so that phrase is obviously taken from God knows where. The idea is that, like, when you say God knows where, you just, the, uh -huh. you've lost something, it's like, oh, I've lost my keys. Right. They are God knows where. The idea is that you don't know where they are, but God does. Because God knows everything. In this case, you've transferred it to, to a ponyism, saying Celestia knows where, and the joke is that Celestia is saying, oh, I didn't know that that, that was a phrase. 
And, but you are right, I don't know where. When you say Celestia knows where, that implies that Celestia does know where. Therefore, if Celestia doesn't know where, and she's saying it like, oh, I don't know where, then you've screwed up, you screwed, you, you did it, you're busted. You, you, just, you incorrectly, <laughs> that's bad phrasing. I don't phrasing. know why the busted thing makes me laugh. Incorrect. For even I don't know the answer. For even I am useless in this plot line. We think, we think, we think. It's reminded me of think, think, think from Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> I can send Starlight to the Dragonlands! Come on, friggin' send her to the Griffins, man! We don't get enough love! I don't really <laughs> trust her in the land of knives, so I'm gonna trust her in the land of WMDs. Probably because we don't w love very many M things, and we take a lot, we're very greedy, we take money, and we kinda suck. Why'd you make us suck? <laughs> By the way, for those who don't know, I was Black Griffin long before the show. I know. Long and ruined Griffins. I don't yeah. think it necessarily ruined them. But not every species can be bow. nice. <laughs> Alright, we get to see best character from last season. Is that like supposed to be like the beginning of Predator or something? Huh? Dylan! You son of a bitch. Oh, I like that, yes, bro. Get those biceps in there, bro. <laughs> this is great! <laughs> Twilight's fantasies are so like stereotyping! Yeah, Emma! true. Starlight! We're dragons! Emma! You ready to do some death-defying dragon stuff? Ha ha, tootler! Tootler! Frickin' blamo. I love it! <laughs> I love it! This is fun. Cha! That's like totally tubular, dude. <laughs> They've turned into shining armor. <laughs> <laughs> and while we're at it, play Though basketball with redneck accents or something. I've never heard shining armor talk like that. It's not that I can remember. God. Everything about that was wrong. And Kelly Sheridan had way too much fun voicing this episode. That doesn't sound anything like Ember or Starlight. Who knows what their dynamic would be, Spike? Shut up, Spike. Don't you judge my fanfiction. Spike's like, dragons don't <laughs> act like that. And she's like, who knows how dragons act? He's like, no, I know how dragons act. And that's not how dragons act. Huh, I never actually thought of it that way. Oh! Powerful. Unicorn's OP has broke nerf. Okay, Loki, <laughs> I kind of would want a show on that. It'd be like extreme dinosaurs fused with dragon tails. That'd be such a dope but combination. It's extreme I would actually dinosaurs. watch that, baby. Like the spinoff. <gasps> Freaky. Oh, well, I actually relate, didn't notice that Spike grabbed reality, onto you know the back of Celestia's legs. I thought, I thought he grabbed onto Twilight. Really, really Twilight. hoping to get Mertalica. <sighs> So which convention is going to be the first one to call their concert Clawchilla? Clawchilla is like Coachella, except uh, more weed and less music. Oh. This year's Dragon Bowl, uh, Detroit Manticores versus the Baltimore Ravens. De I got Detroit 10 to 1. I could be there for a really long time! Whoa, that's a big dragon! Star yeah, Cold that was Light Ember's star. father, this we met like him. like trying to recite names in front of non-bronies. <laughs> star, cool Light Star! Beautiful, Vincent. Even when you're not trying to sing, you sing. Sunset Shimmer? Twilight Sparkle? Star Colite Star? Faggot. What? Hey, let's not fault him at that. I fuck up his name all the time. What Her was name. His name again? Oh. Wait a minute. Starlight, I mean, Twilight is also imagining the dragons being this way. So she's also racist against dragons. And Spike is like right there. So in this episode, we're learning that Twilight is actually really racist. What are we diving into? Well, Cold Slaw, obviously. That's what they do at Clawchella. Lava! What? And then she died. This is another good thing for her. I know yeah. that the scene cut away before we could see it, but she just literally watched Starlight die. That's got to be a little bit traumatizing. Is that I how the season never starts? realized like, that. Like, images of her falling into pools of lava? Oh my god. <laughs> it's a good start. I like it. Now, who would ever want that to happen to Starlight Glimmer? I wanted to see her die! Terrible. <laughs> it, like, took me know. a second to process. I didn't like, realize that people didn't like, like Starlight my brain to this realize much. that, oh like, my I knew god, people didn't, like, even Starlight just I have jumped some, into uh, a volcano. Holy shit. Oh crap, we're but about to die. What I do I do? Falling into lava for a minute. That bad. No escape for me now. Oh, Discord's hugging me. I'll just teleport away because this is an inconvenience. She could just stop herself from falling into a pit of lava. Thank you. What if she didn't realize it was happening? Like me? <laughs> safe, someplace safe, someplace safe. 
I could send her to the Crystal Empire to continue her magical studies with Sunburst. Magical studies. Where Sombra is, wait a minute. I think the Crystal Empire is one of the least safe places. True. If anything happens to that crystal heart, every pony dies. Uh, try I'll place your horn directly on the potion and picture the clock you wish to make. Did you hear that? Hear what? Picture the what? What did he say? He said clock. clock you wish to make. Oh, clock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Clock. I re listened you guys to have it like really three times mind. and I still I cannot unhear him saying cock. A demon! <laughs> <laughs> Flurry heart clock. Three, two, one. I never would have thought to combine Star Swirl's apparition spell with Spatium Flexibus. Okay, we're all waiting for the part where it's Pinificus Inserticus. I oh ship them God. so much. Just kiss already. Especially when they start attempting the other stuff that guys and girls often do together. Algebra. Man. We all know that these horses are gonna- What would happen if we added Sonambula's Tempus Objectus? But don't forget to honorific abilitude in the Tatibus, otherwise you'll limit all to microscopic silica volcanoconiosis yourself! <laughs> you would think unicorn research with so much risk involved, like destroying like the entire world and all that, you'd think there'd be a bit of oversight and like, a controlled environment for those kind of experiments, not just someone's house. <laughs> If we do it just right, it should allow us to materialize an object that was lost in the past. Oh shit, man, they're gonna bring back elephant trunk jeans. What the hell are what? elephant trunk jeans? Yeah, what? I've never yes. heard of that. Wicca! I knew it! Oh my gosh! They actually did that! Yeah. This is a scarily good representation of how my appetite is when I'm at conventions. Starlight <laughs> Sunburst, Smart Cookie, Star Swirl the Bearded. Canon. Ordinarily, I would say that that was a really cool scene, but huh. there's just one big, one big problem with it. It's a little misleading that this episode what? was advertised with that scene of her being oh, stuck was? in the black hole like thing, and then. I never saw that the wasn't even really a major part of the episode. That was kind of deceptive, Discovery Family. Uh, like, it's not the first time the that's entire, happened. Like premise of the last of the time that happened was for this episode was something with that Sweet didn't being up on stage happen. singing for Octavia Vinyl and her sister, cheap. and it turned out that to just be a dream cheap. sequence. In that episode where Apple Bloom was worried about her <laughs> like that, that's kinda, and having nightmares, that's funny. so it's not that, the first that time that advertisers were as misleading. Twilight does because he's in her head. He's a figment of her imagination. Inception. It didn't happen, but it could. And it will. At this point, isn't Celestia aware that Twilight is just not fit to run a damn kingdom? Technically, she doesn't I yet. I, can send her anyway. I wouldn't consider Ponyville a kingdom. Do? You have six other friends! <laughs> <laughs> Celestia just became best pony. <laughs> 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 All right, Slashy, you troll. That, I don't know, that definitely made me laugh. That definitely made me laugh. <laughs> Food a samurai! Ha 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 You're having a panic attack. Ha <laughs> ha, you're kind of an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what a bitch. Jesus Christ. It's so weird to hear Celestia laughing so much. <laughs> yeah, that was Gosh. weird. It's kind of awkward. <laughs> what is that he's I'm drinking? Are you a princess too? <laughs> yes! Thank you, Celestia! Thank you! <laughs> Are you laughing at me? This is the best season premiere ever. Oh, Twilight, I'm laughing at you, not with you. Yes, I'm laughing at you, Twilight. Because you're so dumb. Season seven's gonna be a good one, guys. I can't believe you're <laughs> laughing at me. Every grown man back in 2010 and 2011 when they told their friends that, yo, oh, man, this My Little Pony show actually is kind of dope. Yeah, I'm laughing at you because you're incredibly racist. You laughing at me? Let me tell you a story. Sit down like a puppy, 
That's <laughs> really cute. Celestia's telling a story. Everyone, sit down and shut up. Now this is a story all about how I turned your life upside down. Not like we'll ever see MLP parody that. Once upon a time, actually, they have made a video a with a parody of that dragons. song. It's called uh, the um, the Princess of Friendship. So I believe is the title of it. She had to go to Academy to learn how to fight witches. Yeah, it's too far fetched. She was truly one of my best students. She raises the sun. She rules an entire kingdom. Mm -hmm. And she teaches elementary school. Yeah. Yes, Princess Celestia is an actual goddess. Oh, <laughs> this scene. I love right? this movie. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 no, shut, shut up, shut up. I'm sorry. What? 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 Sun plus lollipop plus rainbow equals two. Honestly, I thought she drew a question mark next to I it. I didn't see that it was a two. But even I didn't know I that. missed that. If the sun represents Celestia and the lollipop represents Pinkie Pie, the rainbow represents Rainbow Dash, that would have to equal three. Unless... Celestia and Pinkie Pie are the same character! Are you talking about Twilight? No! <laughs> I can't see what you're thinking about. But Twilight just did a spell where... Spike could see everything. Yeah, but Celestia's not using it. And Celestia's not doing that right now? Yeah, she's not. Why? Can't Celestia do, like, stuff that's, like, infinitely better than what Twilight can do? So we why isn't she doing so, that to but show I don't know Spike if that's right actually now? True. Is she just really just not that powerful, and we just don't know? Miss Twilight. What would I get if I added powdered root of asphodel? Harry Potter to reference. Of wormwood? I noticed that her pursuit of academia was preventing her from reaching her full potential. Feed me, Seymour! Full potential. <laughs> Do you not see the giant magically generated flower? <laughs> Lyra's standing on the table, standing like a human. Tina was keeping her isolated and alone. Yes, Spike. She was a total loser. Oh, she's an introvert. That's the problem. Trust that none of them mentioned that the uh, plant high five Twilight. I guess I'm and a that genius. was not her. <laughs> Well, that's a sentient plant. I must send her away. Hey, Twilight, do you like mm, bananas? I think Celestia literally turned the moon around to make that shot look good. Because it's uh, not usually turned that way. I knew ah, there was he's a right. Special group usually the in Ponyville. Uh, pony like in the moon the really is facing cool to the left, not facing to the, the right. She knew they were special because they were always followed around by television cameras. This is a really <laughs> Celestia heavy episode, which, granted by the title, I shouldn't be too surprised, mm -hmm. but it's kind of refreshing. Okay. Yeah, Look, I actually really want to see this episode where, like, the, just the prequels before Twilight showed up, because when Twilight showed up, it was just like, okay, uh, I'm a grown filly and I'm trying to deal with it. I really want to see how everyone met each other before Twilight got into the picture, you know, like yeah, how I have wondered and that Jack too. and Fluttershy and all these guys, like all these people from different cliques just became really good friends with each other, I guess, through Pinky. Like that to me would be a good episode. So take note, Hasbro. It's a bit of a, a, bit of a throwback But episode. now that you suggested it, they probably see. won't do it since they try Sparkle. not to use Back fandom day, ideas. Pre-season one. Quote unquote try. What if she runs into a manticore? Do. Or what if she gets pulled into Tartarus? But worst of all, I still love that line. What if she, get, she runs Maybe into a manticore? She's gay. What if the other oh ponies don't like her? Especially that Fluttershy. She'll bully her. Are we supposed to say something? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> the gods are so funny. <laughs> Is she talking to herself? Uh, yeah, she does that all the time. Just get used to it. No, guards are always supposed to stand there idly. Hey, mindless drones, just keep standing there. I kept you in Canterlot longer than I should have. I think we always assume Celestia had a plan for Twilight because she's thought to be well, this all-knowing special character. Well, she's lucky that Twilight was able to but make friends in the span of one day. But now that we see just how normal she really is, day. she rather comes off as Otherwise, a creepy control none freak. of this would have been possible. Eventually, I realized all the anxiety I felt was because I... Had gas. I have... Oh, 1,000 years of back taxes to the IRS. I didn't want you to go. Oh, so it has to do with selfishness. You know, not, it's funny, like, I don't think I'm it's a selfish. Trainer, so, like, when I train my clients, and no, then they, like, go selfish. off, and, like, I've given them this new, like, worldview of how Might have been being sarcastic about that. But... I'm always kind of yeah. like, 
a part of me feels pride, but a part of me feels sad. I'm definitely so proud that someone's able, like I taught someone how to become a stronger, better person. So like I feel what Celestia feels and what Twilight's feeling right here because like, you know, training someone and letting them become stronger and seeing them just grow off and like get their own gaze. It's just, it's beautiful, beautiful. I love this. I love this like little mentor to a disciple thing going on here. This scene will rip your heart out for anybody who has moved out on their own for the very first time. Um, remember, your parents love you, and I expect all of you to call them. Okay. Today. Really? <laughs> no. Oh, because this came out on no, Father's Day. I was day. afraid okay. if you made friends, you wouldn't need me anymore. And that's exactly what happened. So Twilight, don't send her away, or you're going to become as obsolete as Princess. Uh, what's your face? Celestia, <laughs> nobody needs you anymore. Wouldn't need me in the show anymore, which. It's kind of the truth, guys. I mean, we've never really needed you. We will always need you. I think Starlight Glimmer might feel the same way about you. Look at that. Another friendship lesson. Yay. That is what you're afraid <laughs> of. Maybe it is. Just a little. Oh, it definitely is. Like a lot. Shut up, Spike. <laughs> you're a male. Here we are <laughs> after all these years, Twilight. After all these years, that kind of hits home because it really has been all these years for those of us in the fandom for multiple seasons. Yeah. We are living proof that letting someone spread their wings doesn't mean you no longer have a place in their lives. Uh, actually, she doesn't have wings yet. And with that, uh, Nicole Oliver has just told the yeah. entirety of the Brony fandom that they still love us. And... We'll, they'll be there for whenever you want to come back. You can go do your s Samurai Jacks, you can go do your Steven Universes, your anime, but they know they will be there when you want to return. Either that or I'm just getting overly sappy. You can always make her write you letters. You lonely, lonely pony. <laughs> if that's the reason that she's been writing letters, then why did she stop and Celestia just accepted her stopping doing that? Dear... Princess well, so I see I probably just saw it as gross on Being Twilight's part. Also, the writers probably struck. were having a hard time coming Sometimes up with Dear Princess Celestia, today I learned letters she has for, me wear this you know, more than two seasons. I don't think they've done it since season three. <laughs> Spike was just quite tickled with that one. <laughs> Won't you watch I may have let it slip that you'd be unveiling your big plan for Starlight tonight. Hey, he's con-vlogging. Discord has just <laughs> been like an ass this episode. Yes, we get um, it. You're I don't an think so, but oh my he God. is Discord. Jeez, Discord, he really likes to stir. You weren't coming yeah. up with a plan. That's why I like now, Discord, even though he's reformed. You? He still if likes messing with, with others. Ever. No, you idiot. She was making a really long and boring episode with Princess Celestia who we almost forgot about Born. until today when we remembered why we almost forgot about her. If I could have every pony's attention and the other characters in the room that aren't ponies! And I'd hope she'd be my pupil <laughs> for a long time yet to come. But it turns out that's just not meant to be. <gasps> Stock audience gasp. <laughs> <gasps> Le gasp. It's like the Wilhelm scream of collective gasping. Oh, in this shot, both Katie Cook and Andy Price are in the shot. See if you can find them. Kind, loyal, strong, honest. Brave, strong, and true. Stupid, oppressive, Hitler-esque, dictator. Three cheers for Starlight Glimmer on her- Leaving the show! Hip hip, yes! Graduation day. <laughs> hip hip away. Hip. That wasn't three cheers. Wow, I was not expecting this. Neither were we, but believe me, we are not upset. How do you want to celebrate? Great <laughs> trip to Las Pegasus? Trixie, that movie <laughs> doesn't come out for a few more months. Thorax gets like lost on the roof and like fucking Trixie finds a baby and stuff. It'd be kind of cool, actually. We can are you making you a, a reference Gorefest? to Gorefest? the hangover? Changeling Gorefest. Gorefest? <laughs> It's not like a fetish thing, is it? Either one sounds interesting. One more than the other. I'm hoping he's going to explain this in the next few seconds, otherwise I'm going to make up what a gourd fest is, and it's probably not going to be the same thing. Uh, it's more fun than it sounds. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make up something. Uh, they throw gourds at each other. You thought I was going to go sexual, but I didn't. It's what they do with the gourds after that's sexual. 
I do appreciate that Thorax's awkwardness hasn't changed despite his transformation from Beast to Prince Adam. Dude, I really <laughs> like Thorax, even though he looks... I know a trick that'll turn Celestia's castle into cheese. Do you think it's a good idea? <laughs> That's just the first of many cheese jokes if we go down this path. Oh, I hate you. Oh, please go down that path. I need cheese jokes in my life. And this is why you're provolone all the time, Discord. Oh, yeah. Stop. Don't encourage them. Cheese Lestia. Huh. This is why nobody wants to bury you. Stop. <laughs> I'm funny. I think they were stringing that joke along just a toasted long time. Stilson, um, I'm a bit peckish. Um, I wonder if I've got some uh, camon, camon bear around here somewhere. Um, oh, that's right. I've just eaten it. Congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. What the fuck, Twilight? Believe me, <laughs> I've thought long and hard about this. Believe me, For five I spent minutes. a whole entire five yeah, minutes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're ready. I'm not ready to leave. Oh, good, because I'm not ready for that either. What? You're going to make me get all invested in a character I'm only just starting to like and then throw it all back in our faces and say everything prior is for nothing? What was the point of this episode? Twilight is an enabler. She, like, oh, I'm gonna. I I'm guess gonna send he you does to have do a thing. point and because of the resolution like, of this episode, this you're premiere. Not. I have it a feeling that a lot of the pointless. fandom was ready for her to leave. I wasn't actually ready to advance the storyline. <laughs> you serious? This whole episode setting up goodbyes, spinkle spankle, and we're keeping her. Way yeah. to get my hopes up and dash them against the rocks like the waves in the Pacific. The plot of the episode was Twilight figuring out where Starlight should go. The resolution is Starlight's not going anywhere. Oh my god, this whole episode was pointless. Okay, now, now just put yourself in Starlight's position right here, okay? Like, the, your teacher, your home and board as well, pretty much say, okay, you graduate, so, you know, just get out. Oh, yeah. right? but, I mean, how would you feel in that situation? Like, uh... I actually kind of like it here, you know, there's a muffin place right down the street, uh, you know, uh, Pinkie Pie's parties are awesome, Fluttershy's right there, we can talk, Rainbow Dash and me can go exercising, Applejack got those great apple pies, Rarity hooks me up with dresses, and she's freaking baller, and it's just, I, 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 I don't want to leave, like, I can understand that, like, I, I guess it's... It's tough, man. It was going to be a congrats on getting a medal. Yeah, of see? Honor. Now the... Oh, you kidding me? Now the picture has regular a eyes. Heart. A, a purple heart and a medal of honor are not the same thing, by the way. And Can't they make a oh. combine? Yeah. Is there a equestrian pink heart that occurred or is a medal of honor? I honestly don't know at this point. I guess that's honestly, an oversight on the writer's part. Yeah, I, I mean, seriously, all they could have done is just, like, opened up the closet where they keep Nicole Oliver and said, Hey... We had you say the wrong thing, can you re-record this? And she'll be like, sure, can I have food? But then I was afraid it would have to be a going away present, but now it's I couldn't be happy or stay present. Oh, it was my Photoshop too. That's a cute picture of her and Trixie. Oh, that's some great fan art. Where's a picture of Thorax? Where's a picture of Discord? Twilight? Uh. It fits perfectly over your dresser. I know, I measured. You were in my room with my permission? I may not know what comes next for you, but whatever it is, I promise I'll always be there for you. Now let's touch horns gingerly. Unless she writes you off the show Twilight and it becomes Starlight's, you know, as the main character, which, I don't know guys, is kind of something I've been noticing, so it's possible that they might be phasing Twilight out of the show. I'm just saying. I hope not. I mean, Twilight is the main character. I mean, amongst the main characters, she's the main one. I can't get rid of Twilight. What the hell that wouldn't is make this thing? The show oh my make any god, sense it's like anymore. a Henry Hoover with a face. Well, what's that? Oh! Merchandise! <laughs> Alright, how much will that toy cost, huh? I don't know. I, I didn't watch Teletubbies. I did. Oh, making reference to the vacuum right from Teletubbies. is a Mr. Bucket. I've what? seen these before. This is actually like a little game you would play as a kid with a bucket with wheels going around sucking up balls. What game was that? I had a really fun childhood. <laughs> yeah. 
this is gonna sound weird because I'm pretty sure that managed to be the least epic season premiere I've ever seen. I agree. On for MLP. But I'm not saying that in the sense of it being bad, just different. And thus starts season seven. The season of feels. I feel it coming. It obviously kind of set up the season seven. Um, it was fun to see some of the characters through like the thought process, but uh, it's definitely different than what we've seen in the past as far as season premieres go. So, see what season seven has in store. That was the conflict resolution. Yeah. Just complete, completely ignoring the problem. Yep. So the whole episode was completely worthless. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. GG Hasbro. GG. Eh, I still liked it. There. I did it. I went through a whole Starlight Glimmer episode without making a single Starlight Hitler reference. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> If you couldn't see it fully, the text was saying that Starlight resembles Joseph Stalin's. <laughs> I didn't read it fully, but it was a Hitler You're still reference. here? Yeah, still here. No way. Why? The video is over. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so that was Browning Reacts Season 7 premiere. Hmm. Compared to the ones in the past, this one I kind of felt... I don't know. I felt some of the jokes were a little forced, especially the sexual ones. Also, I know that, like, a lot of the people who do this, they, like, they script what they're going to say. Like, the reactions are still blind, but they script out what they're going to say to it. Um, and I don't know. I felt like some of the jokes played off of each other. Maybe that's just AC Race Best doing some really clever editing to make it feel like they're playing off of each other a little bit better than before. But I don't know. I felt like... I don't know. I also, the hate against Starlight Glimmer that was, like, almost throughout this whole, uh, react, like, I get, like, you know, why a lot of people don't like Starlight Glimmer, because she was evil, and then she was reformed, and not only was she reformed, she was taken in as one of Twilight's friends and her personal pupil, and the whole entire last season of season six was watching Starlight, um learn basically almost all of the same um, lessons that Twilight did when she was introduced to the show in season one all the way through season three. But I don't know, I felt like the hate on Starlight in this one was a little bit excessive. I don't know. Maybe just because I don't have the same feelings towards Starlight. Like, I don't think that, like she's the best thing that ever happened for the show, but I don't think she's the worst either to warrant being excited for her leaving but hmm, I don't know this Bronies react felt different just like how the season 7 premiere felt different and I don't know if it was different in a good way or a bad way I just I guess it was just meh compared to the others but yeah this has been Brony reacts season 7 premiere um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Also, be sure to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter, as well as support me on Patreon. All three links will be in the description below, and subscribe for more. And if you are subscribed or a new subscriber right now, be sure to hit that bell icon so you get notified of when I upload videos. This is Viola Rules Reacts, signing off. Talk to you later.